Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Today we're going to talk a little bit about one of the new features in Lightburn 1.5.01 and it has to do with the new alignment guides. I was working on my fiber laser the other day and I was doing some coins and I found a use for them that really saved me a lot of time. Now it's not anything or shattering, but it's something that we didn't have available to us before now. And um, in this particular application, it was a real lifesaver, time saver, um, because I'm doing a two-sided coin and I needed to make sure that when I took one graphic away, uh, you know, when I was done with one side of the coin and I needed to do the other side of the coin, that I put that graphic exactly in the same spot on my workspace on the fiber so everything lined up. I took the time to go ahead and make sure that it was all aligned with the with the first side and once I did that I could bring in my alignment guides lock them down and when it was time to do the second side it was a matter of dragging over the second graphic lining it up for the vertical and the horizontal lines and away I went and I didn't have any problems at all um, from an alignment pr process. The other thing that I haven't seen advertised much is you have the ability to lock these alignment guides. So that way, once you get this where it needs to be and you don't want it moving, you can actually go into the Shape Properties tab and lock those alignment guides down, which in this particular case is really good because um, I don't want to inadvertently move those alignment guides in any way again because we've got this coin that we're trying to do and it's critical for alignment just because of the design and you'll see why. So um, I'll, we'll jump into Lightburn. I'll kind of show you what I did. This is going to be a fairly short video. I just wanted to show you kind of a practical use for alignment guides and in this case it's going to be for the, pro for the fiber laser but um, you could use these alignment guides and be able to lock them down and uh, use them for jigs, all kinds of different things. So let's go ahead and jump uh, into Lightburn um, and I'll show you my setup and show you what I did. Okay, we've jumped into our uh, fiber layout. I'm using the 110 lens today. This is on a 60 watt JPT MOPA laser um, that I got from Pascal. It works fantastic. And so one of the things that I've got to do, so I, I laid out, now one of the things that I normally do that I couldn't do in this particular case is normally when I'm aligning things, I would just select this graphic, hit the letter P, and it would put it exactly in the middle uh, of where that workspace is. And so alignment's not too critical uh, for that. For the second side, I could just select it, hit P, and it would be exactly lined up. The problem with what I have now is because I've got several things going on the bed of my fiber laser, um, I've got some other uh, alignments laid out that I don't want to move or change. So the way this laid out, I couldn't put it exactly in the middle. And so you, 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 it's, it's off center. In other words, I don't have the ability to hit the letter P and replicate the location of where this second side has got to go. So I had, to, I had to come up with some kind of a way to know exactly where I need to put uh, this second side. So you got, this is one side of the coin. This is the second side of the coin. This is gonna be on a bronze inch and a half uh, size coin. And I do a lot for these guys. Um, they use them for service awards. And so this is something that's kind of a, a, a repeat for me. And so what I did, once I got this particular uh, side of the coin all lined up, engraved, worked out perfect, um, with, before we had these alignment guides, I would have to, you know, struggle and bring this in because it's not directly in the middle of this workspace. I would have to fiddle with it to get it aligned again to do the second uh second side of the coin and typically you're burning up a couple of coins to get all this aligned and so with these alignment guides what I was able to do is once I knew the location was perfect for the first side I engraved all of my coins on one side then all I did is I brought this uh, you know I brought these alignment guides over and I matched them up to the top of the coin 
and to the side of the coin. And that way, when it was time to move this one out and put this one in, as long as I snapped it to this side of the alignment guide and that side of the alignment guide, I knew that my alignment was going to be just right. One of the other things that I will tell you that I didn't see many people talking about is you have the ability to lock these guides down. So if you need to have your shape properties uh, tab apparent, and if you don't see this, you can always come up to the window and come down here to shape properties and make sure that that check mark is there and then it should, it should show up. It might come out as a standalone uh, dialog box if you haven't docked it before. And if that's the case, just make your dialog box as small as possible. Drag it with the header bar over here. Um, matter of fact, I can show you. It, it might come out like this. All you've got to do is just take this and drop it. When it turns gray in the background, let it go and it'll drop it in, in there. And so if I highlight my alignment guide, you notice that I have one little selection over here that says either it's locked or it's unlocked. Well, one of the things that I didn't want to inadvertently do is move these alignment guides. Once I got this coin where it needed to be and it was perfect, uh, I didn't want to inadvertently move these alignment guides. So I, I put them in there. I made sure both the horizontal and the vertical alignment guide was locked and I'm good to go. And so once that was locked down, then all I did is I came through and I engraved all of the, my coins that I needed on one side. And then I took this graphic out and pulled this graphic in and aligned this edge with the top and this edge, the left edge with the left edge here. And it was flawless. It worked great. Um, so just wanted to show you kind of a practical use for these alignment guides. Um, I think I'm going to use them quite a bit when, when, from a fiber perspective because a lot of times I'm not using exactly the center of my bed because I might have other things going on and I don't want to take an existing layout apart uh, when I've just got a handful of coins to do or something like that. So I just thought I'd show you. This, these alignment guides are going to be great. Appreciate Lightburn putting them in there. And again, um, just remember, they do lock. And so all you've got to do is just select it. Make sure your properties tab is open. And you can talk, uh, take the lock on or off. And you'll be good to go. Remember, these alignment guides will stay with this file. Um, and so you can bring this file up and away you go. Things I'll share with you is the settings for... Uh, this bronze coin again it's just a black mark on a bronze coin there's no engraving involved but this setting seems to work out really well for me uh, on my 60 watt JPT uh, MOPA laser and uh, it is 800 millimeters per second 37 percent power 60 uh, kilohertz Q pulse is uh, untouched at 200 and most importantly is the line interval is 0 0.007. And so um, that'll get you in the ballpark. You might have to tweak yours a little bit for sure. But um, this setting works really well for a nice dark black on bronze. And uh, so give that a try. Well, as you can tell, uh, using these new features in Lightburn, this software just keeps getting better and better and better. If you like my content, I'd sure appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have the ability to hit that thanks button and contribute to the channel, that really helps me out. Until next time, thanks and have a great day.